Hey guys, it's Fonzie with Dip Your Car, and we have a crazy video for you guys today. So a little while ago, I was talking to Peter from KP Pigments, and he said, dude, I have got some new, insane, reflective pigments coming in. You gotta try them. And I'm like, send them over. I wanna spray a whole car. And he was like, really? And not like an excited really. It was more of a, really? Are you sure? And I was like, you know what, dude? Go big or go home. So today I've got the Evo, and we're gonna be covering it in reflective pigments. Enjoy the video. So this is a 25 gram bag of this new reflective pigment. And the way these kind of work is it's almost like a very, very, very small glass bead that shoots the light back at the camera when a direct light is pointed at it like a flash. It's kind of funny. Gabe said the last color we did on the Evo was the Musso Black, which absorbed as much light as possible. The reflective pigments are the complete opposite. They reflect as much light as possible. Kind of funny how that works out. So what we're gonna do is uh, make this up as we go along because we have no idea how many grams per gallon to use. We have no idea how long it's gonna take to get the coverage that we're looking for. As far as the base color, we wanted something kind of darkish so that it would contrast the bright reflective pigments, but something that still had color. So we're going with Blurple PDF. So we're gonna start dusting on coats of the reflective pigments until we figure it out. Let's jump in. All right, guys, we finished the project, and now I understand why Peter was hesitant about us using reflective pigments on an entire car, because this was not easy. We used 100 grams per gallon, and we must have dusted this car 10 times to get it to where it is right now, and it is extremely difficult to get this product to lay down evenly. With that said, it looks completely insane. It looks totally different depending whether the, the lights are on, the lights are off, or whether or not there's a direct flash or light source shining on the car. I'm gonna try and show you guys all the different looks. It's extremely difficult to film this outdoors, so we're gonna film it inside the booth where we can control all of the lighting. Now, if you wanna do something like this yourself, I think small scale, it's awesome. We actually have a ready to spray aerosol. It's the reflex aerosol on Dip Your Car, and it has um, reflective pigments in the aerosol. So perfect for small scale stuff like sunglasses and things like that. If you wanna use the powder we use today on something larger scale, I don't re recommend you do it on a car. I don't even know if it's legal on a car, but if you're looking for a larger project, I'll, lay, I'll leave a link in the description box below to both the aerosol and the powder pearl. Pro tip, 
don't wear shoes that you actually care about when doing this project. And I'll show you what I mean in the end reveal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I hope you guys enjoy videos where we play like this. I certainly do. It's Fonzie. I'll see you guys in the next video. We used 100 grams per gallon, and we must have dusted this car 10 times to get it to where it is right now. And it is extremely easy, easy. That's the opposite of what I was trying to say.